Since sin x is periodic, if we extend the graph, we'll see that the same line y is equal to 0.5 cuts the graph at various points. You can also see the gap between these points is uniform. All these values where the line intersects the curve are also solutions for sin x is equal to 0.5. But these are not principal solutions. Let's now see how we can represent all these solutions. You know that the range of sin x is the closed interval minus 1 plus 1. Let's pick a region in this graph where the entire range of sin x is included. For simplicity's sake, this region is chosen as the closed interval minus pi by 2 plus pi by 2. In this interval minus pi by 2 plus pi by 2, sin x varies between minus 1 to plus 1. In this interval, the line y is equal to 0 0.5 cuts exactly at one point, which is pi by 6. Now, in the complete range of sin x, this graph intersects at various points. If you observe carefully, since pi by 6 is a solution, 2 pi plus pi by 6, 4 pi plus pi by 6, 6 pi plus pi by 6, and every 2k pi plus pi by 6 is a solution, where k, of course, is an integer. We are still left with some more points. How do we identify them? Since pi by 6 is a solution, pi minus pi by 6 is also a solution. You know that sine theta is equal to sine pi minus theta. Since pi minus pi by 6 is a solution, 2 pi plus pi minus pi by 6, 4 pi plus pi minus pi by 6, 6 pi plus pi minus pi by 6, and every 2k plus 1 pi minus pi by 6 is a solution. So all the solutions of sin x equal to 0.5 are x equals 2k pi plus pi by 6 and x equals 2k plus 1 pi minus pi by 6. These two sets can also be written together as n pi plus minus 1 whole raised to n pi by 6. When n is an even number, this represents all the solutions of the form 2k pi plus pi by 6. And when n is an odd number, this solution represents of the form 2k plus 1 pi minus pi by 6. This type of solutions where we are representing all the solutions using an integer variable n are called as general solutions. Similarly, we can find general solutions for any value sin x between the closed interval minus 1 and plus 1. Let a be such value and the equation will be sin x is equal to a. Then identify the angle alpha in the interval minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 such that sin alpha will be equal to a. Then the general solution for this equation will be x is equal to n pi plus minus 1 whole raised to n into alpha where alpha belongs to the closed interval minus pi by 2 and pi by 2. Let us look at the graph of cos x now. In the case of cos theta, we'll start with the region 0 to pi. As you can see, this interval covers the entire range of cos x. Let us take an angle alpha in this interval now. Now to find the general solution of cos x equal to cos alpha, we draw the line y is equal to cos alpha. All the points where this line intersects the curve are the solution of the trigonometric equation cos x equals cos alpha. All these points are at x equals 2n pi plus alpha and x equals 2n pi minus alpha. So the general solution of cos x equal to cos alpha will be x equals 2n pi plus or minus alpha, where n is an integer and alpha lies between 0 and pi. Look at the graph of tan function now. Here, we'll choose an interval which covers the entire range of tan function and that interval is minus pi by 2 to pi by 2. Let's take an angle alpha in this interval now. Now to find the general solution of tan x equals tan alpha, we'll draw the line y equals tan alpha. 
All the points where this line intersects the curve are the solutions of the trigonometric equation tan x equals tan alpha. All these points are at n pi plus alpha. So the general solution of tan x equals tan alpha is x equals n pi plus alpha. For more videos and live lectures on the JEE, click on the subscribe button now.